like how it's, it's, it's happening. Is it right happening right now? It's so, happening. Hold on, we're getting was, everybody in their seats. She was creating an incident with her chair. Here you go, you're right here. Okay, hold on, we got everybody go. Hi, guys. We're coming, we got mics coming on. Come on up. Who do we have? We got a few more coming. Hi, you guys. Hi. How are we? Good. Y'all all right? Are you hungry? Yes. Have you got anything to eat yet? No. Okay. They're hungry people. We need, need some food. food. <laughs> it's very crucial. Get them we some got pop the rest. Greeny, you got the rest coming in? All right. Who's, who are we missing? We're missing Simone and we're missing Michaela. Right? Simone and Michaela. All right, guys. We're going to sit and visit for a second while they come. I'll sit here and wait. But let me show you something. So this is what I was waving. Okay, this want, is my, this is my daughter's yet. dress. Oh. She put it in my luggage for good luck. So I took it to the meet and okay, I just started you. twirling it around and it gave me good luck for all of you. <laughs> Hi, you guys. Come, come, come. Come on, you crazy kids. What, I'm on this side, Mark? Here, you're here, you're there. Okay, okay. Hi, wait a minute. <laughs> Hi, lady. <laughs> How are you? You made it, you made it, you made it. Okay, now I want you guys to do me a favor. Raise your hand if you're proud of your teammates. Raise your hand if you're proud of Simone. <laughs> Simone is proud of Simone. Yes. Girl, you did it. Thank you. You did it. I'm very shocked. You did it, you did it, you did it. I mean, when you sit with that for a second, mm -hmm. tell me. I mean, I feel like it's still kind of a whirlwind. I don't get to like embrace it yet, but I'm just proud I could go out there and compete one more time before the Olympics was over and do a new beam dismount I haven't done since I was probably 12. You got up on that beam and I was thinking about that bronze medal and I wondered like, does it mean more than the others? Yes, it means more than all of the golds because I've pushed through so much the last five years and the last week while I've even been here, it was just, it was very emotional and I'm just, proud of myself and just all of these girls as well. Were you scared? I was a little bit nervous <laughs> in the beginning, but as soon as I saluted, I felt, I felt better. You did? Yeah. Because we were watching you and you were stepping around. I was like, okay, what's she feeling? Why am I, <laughs> I'm feeling your feels. Yeah. I was feeling your feels. I was really nervous. Um, you were nervous, yeah. yeah. How'd you sleep last night? Like a baby. You did? <laughs> yeah. Did you really? I never have an issue sleeping. Now my nap time, I laid down for two hours, but I wasn't like asleep. I was kind of like half awake, half asleep. Okay, so once you once you uh, were you wrapped up the beam, mm -hmm. you felt like you felt. How did you feel once you finished? When you finished the um, routine, I didn't really care about yeah. the outcome. I was just yeah. happy that I made the routine and that I got to compete one more time. There's a bug on Jade. There's a bug on Jade. There is a bug on Jade. That's good. Jordan to the rescue. Yes. That happens. Um, this was now when when you decided that you were not going to compete early on. A lot of people. There may have been some misconceptions. Right. What do you think the biggest misconception was about your decision? That I was at no risk and mental health isn't a serious issue. That it was basically a cop out. But the girls saw me in training, my coaches saw me in training, like I physically couldn't do it safely. And it's because I was getting so lost in the air. Yeah. Like the 14 finals, the girls were terrified for me and they've never really been scared whenever I do something, but they were like really nervous. Yeah. So the and, and so why the beam? Why was that the one that you decided to come back to? Because I didn't have to twist or do anything. Yeah. So it was very much at a less risk, especially if I could do a different beam dismount. Do you think it would have been different, Simone, if your family had been here, if your support staff, if your people um, had been here with you? They were as here as much as they could have yeah. been. I swore my parents were trying to jump through the phone with <laughs> how much they were calling and texting me and sending all the messages. By the way, I was texting your mother. Aww, I was texting you. her when you were out there. I shot it. I, I took a picture of the beam. Yes. I was like, that's the beam where Simone's going to be. <laughs> She's good. She She's good. It. And your mom was sending back hearts. I saw yeah. you speaking to her right after. Mm -hmm. What did you guys say to one another? They were just really excited because before my dad was like, since I can't be there, can you FaceTime me in the tunnel? So right before I walked out, I did FaceTime my parents in the tunnel and that kind of put me at ease. And then um, right after beam, I just wanted to say hi to them. I think the, the funny thing is, Simone, once you, when you decided in the beginning that you weren't going to compete, all of a sudden we realized all the depth on this team. And you all probably right. knew about the depth the whole time, but I think America learned about the depth. Yeah. Every single person sitting here has won a medal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, every single person. Yeah. SUNY, best all around. 
a gold medal. Did you ever imagine in your wildest dreams that you would be leaving here with a medal in every single color? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, bars and beam are probably the ones that I was hoping for the most. Yeah. I mean, everybody's competing for second place, you know, since with Simone. So yeah. when that happened, it was just kind of like, oh my gosh, like, I'm, cause I was second to her the whole season. So mm -hmm. I kind of felt like I was just doing this for myself and I just wanted to prove that I could be up there. So I don't know, it was just crazy. <laughs> that and more. You guys, the moment that w when it when it first happened, can you guys take me back to that moment um, when you found out that Simone was not going to be competing? Y'all, you all are a team. <laughs> jo uh, Jordan, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, that was a crazy moment. I mean, there was really a lot of like we were just very very stressed. I do have to say that I feel like we all put ourselves in a position to where we just were hoping that. No matter what was going to happen, we were just going to prove to ourselves that we could do anything. And kind of with her help, in the midst of her encouraging us and supporting us throughout every single event that we were doing, it definitely helped. Well, I could hear Simone in the, I, I mean, no matter where, I knew exactly where Simone was when you guys were competing. Grace, you had to get right back up there right after you learned you were on those uneven bars. And I felt like you set the tone for the team. Whatever you were going to do, I think was going to catch. Tell yeah. me about what that um, felt like. I definitely like. felt a lot of nerves going into that bar routine, just knowing that I my bar routine kind of set the tone for the mm -hmm. rest of the meet. So I really wanted to do well. So the rest of the girls were like, OK, I got this. <laughs> uh, talk about getting it. Michaela, wow. Your story <laughs> is just such a beautiful story in these Olympic Games. It's like you thought you were going home, and now you, and now you, you are going home with a silver medal. You got a second chance. You are now an Olympian with a medal. Um, and I love what you said when you were doing it. You said to Simone, I'm doing this for us. Mm -hmm. What describe? What does that mean exactly? What did that mean to you? <laughs> well, it's just definitely not the way that I wanted to go in, you know, to win a vault medal. I would have, you know, liked to have it at prelims. And so it really broke my heart to see Simone go through what she was going through. And she should have been the one being out there. So for her to step down and give me this opportunity, I really wanted to go out there and say, this is for us because she deserves it too, so. Don't you love your teammates? <laughs> I do, and she kept saying, I'm doing this for, for you, I'm doing this for us, and I said, do it for yourself. Like, I'll be cheering, I'll be the biggest cheerleader, and that's exactly what I did. I learned a lot about you. <laughs> I learned a lot about you. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to mm -hmm. ask Simone if she's going to be back for another Olympics. We're going to talk to Miss Gold Medalist there. Oh, yes, I see you, Jade. There's more with these incredible gymnasts. Look at you. Y'all did it. We'll be back after your local news. We're going to take a little break. We'll continue. good conversation you're having with Team USA Gymnastics. I can't believe this. I am so excited. You guys, look at these, look at these Olympians. So we got Simone, Suni, Jordan, Grace, Jade, and Michaela. Guys, it's so good to see you. Since you guys are, are, guys are going home, you're done with the competition, the masks are off, just so people are wondering, like, <laughs> what happened? Simone's grabbing hers, she's got hers. Uh, Simone, I think one of the things that these Olympics did was it sort of put mental health on the forefront, on the right. front burner. I know you, that was not your intent, it's just right. how life rolled out. But I don't think people think about mental health. They yeah. think about, just get your courage up, get your right. guts up and go do it. But it's not that. Yeah, it's not, and at the end of the day, we're not just athletes or entertainment, we're human too, and we have real emotions, and sometimes they don't realize that we have things going on behind the scenes that affects, that affects us whenever we go out and compete. Well, you know what's funny? I know how strong you are because I know you and I know what you've been through in your life. Yes. And I've watched all the things you've been through and you're always, you're there back straight. You're Thank always there you. back straight. So when that day happened, when you decided not, com not to compete, I knew it had to be mm -hmm. crushing. Right. For you it, not to compete. Mm -hmm. It wasn't an easy decision, so it hurts that people were like, oh, she quit or she did this because I've worked five years for that. Why would I quit? Like, I've been through so much over the past couple of years in the sport. Like, I, I just don't quit. That's not what I do. But the girls could see it, and I knew that they would get the job done, and that's exactly what they did. So they won silver. I think that other point was brought home, too, that it's about being injured. It's about right. getting lost in the air and mm -hmm. hurting yourself. And I think people didn't 
understand that yeah, either. Yeah, because it's they? not something they could physically touch or see. It's inside of my head. So it's like they can't get a grasp of it because yeah. they can't see it. So I get that that was hard. But for me, it's like I have to take a step back and work on myself. Was that the first time that it happened to you, Simone? Yes, because most of the time I think I feel like I push things under the rug and I just kind of go along with it. But it was something bigger than me in that moment. Yeah. Jordan, I know you all are super tight. Were you worried about Simone? Kind of, yeah. I was I was more devastated because, like she said, she's been working so long for this and she's not a quitter. And feeling that emotion that she had deep down was something that I did not want to feel because she's she's amazing herself. And I was just very, very sad that in that moment, that's what she had to do. But, you know, like she said, we all pulled together and we <laughs> put everything down and was just like, we got this and we had to do it for her. Did you know you were loved this much? I honestly had no idea. Um, after team final or so, we went to the village and I honestly expected to feel a little bit embarrassed and people were still coming up to me saying how much I may and I've done for them in their world. And that was just the craziest feeling ever. In that moment, I was like, okay, there's more than gymnastics and medals. There's more than gymnastics yeah. and medals. I remember when I interviewed you guys after you won the silver and I said, you are a coach and you said, I'd rather be that. Yeah. <laughs> Did you, yeah. I mean, were you serious? Um, in that moment, I felt yeah. like yes, but I was also the biggest cheerleader, so it felt really good. Um, maybe one day I have no idea what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna take it day by day. Yeah, I did wonder if this was, if we were gonna see you compete again. Yeah, um, I definitely am gonna take some time and uh -huh. let this Olympics sink in because I don't think I felt mm -hmm. like I did that after 2016. So I'm going to let this sink in. We have tour after this. Gold over America mm -hmm. will be going to 35 cities. So I'm super excited <laughs> about that. So we'll just see. Jade, wow, girl, come on. We were watching you on that floor and it was like magic. It was like there was like a magic wand mm -hmm. and it just hit you. And I remember you the, the day before and that was probably maybe one of your worst days competing and you went from the worst to the best. How did you turn that corner? Yeah, um, vault finals was definitely <laughs> one of the worst days of my life. I was just really disappointed. Um, but I had my wonderful teammates and my dad just telling me to let it go for the moment and mm -hmm. that I could turn the worst day into the best day. Wow, well you did it. SUNY, you, ha you just had a home run Olympic Games. Uh, you're, you must be going home proud. I bet you that dad is waiting for you. <laughs> Tell me what you're going to say to him when you see um, him. Just going to say thank you for always supporting me. He's always been my number one supporter. So I'm just really excited to see him and put that gold medal around his neck. <laughs> Well, you guys, I can't tell you how great it was being there in the stands cheering you on. I mean, I'll never forget this Olympic Games either. <laughs> I know it wasn't about me, <laughs> but I loved every single second of it. America is proud of you. Thank you. And you did it. You did it. You did it. You guys, thank you. All right. Oh, we got food? Oh, yeah. Do y'all want some sushi? Do you got some sushi? No, they don't like you it. You don't like sushi? They don't like fish. Oh. No, they don't like it. You, there no. you go. Well, we don't want you anyone Top getting sick. sick. You can, we'll that. order some Here. pizzas too. We'll get yeah, more. Um, that. Is that sprinkles? That's <laughs> rough. <laughs> that's, did you say that? Do, do you not wait, want wait, it? Wait, I'll straight. There you go. There you go. We'll, we'll sort it out. Sprinkles. <laughs> it's not, it's, it's, it's eggs like or something. Fish eggs. Fish eggs. Enjoy. Okay, we'll get you something better. Okay, you guys, thank you. All right. Coming up next here in Tokyo, a silver medal winner in a race for the ages, U.S. hurdle star, Ry Benjamin, joining us live. But first, this is today on NBC. Simone ain't having that. Let's get some more food. Come on. More food, ladies. <laughs>